We're back now at 741 with important health news for the 30 to 40 percent of men in this country affected by male pattern baldness. New research is linking it to an increased risk of heart disease. Here's NBC's chief medical editor, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. When I was 21 and, and losing my hair, I, I thought, oh, my God, this is the end of the world. Hair loss has a big impact on a man's self-esteem. And now a new report finds hair loss in men may also be linked to heart health. The British Medical Journal analyzed results from previous studies of male baldness and heart disease. Almost 37,000 men participated. This study is really important information because it tells us that if we have a physical sign, such as baldness, that that might be an indicator of what's going on inside our heart. Men at the highest risk for heart attack are those with vertex balding, which starts on the crown of the head and slowly spreads. While the reason for the link is unclear, checking patients with male pattern baldness could increase the ability of doctors to detect problems before a cardiac episode. This research doesn't prove cause and effect, but what it does show us is that there may be a common underlying mechanism such as inflammation, high blood pressure, abnormal cholesterol. These may be the things that lead to both heart disease and baldness. An established link that could give hope to preventing a hidden but dangerous problem. For today, Dr. Nancy Snyderman, NBC News, New York. Dr. Roshini Raj is a Today contributor and assistant professor of medicine at the NYU Langone Medical Center. Dr. Raj, good to see you. Nice to see you. Guys are going to see this. They're going to get on the phone this morning. They're going to call their cardiologists and make an appointment. Is that the appropriate response if they're the guys losing their hair? Right. Well, I always encourage men and women to talk to their cardiologists about their risk factors for heart disease and make sure blood pressure, cholesterol, and glucose are under control. But should bald men panic? I don't think so. Now, this study did show an increased risk. It's a slightly increased risk when you think about overall numbers. And it was particularly seen in younger men and those who had the uh, vertex baldness. That means the top of the head as opposed to the front of the head. Let's make sure we understand. So the earlier you lose your hair as a man, the greater your risk of heart disease. Correct. And the more severe your hair loss, the greater the risk as well. That's right. When they broke it down by how much you were balding, the ones who had the most severe baldness had the highest increased risk. And we're talking about a, a research that looked at 37,000 men, so it's not insignificant at all. It's not insignificant, although I should say this is a meta-analysis, meaning they pooled several studies together. That's not always the best way to look at data. When they, when they say there may be, may be a link between inflammation and cholesterol levels in men and hair loss, right. you know, the, the logical side of me says, okay, wait a second, if I go out and I start taking anti-inflammatories as a young man, I might reduce my risk of hair loss, right. and if I take statins for cholesterol problems, I might also reduce my risk of hair loss. Well, it's interesting. You know, minoxidil, which is one of the most common treatments for hair loss, started out as a high blood pressure medicine. So yes, there are probably common links between the causes of heart disease and baldness and the treatments, but I think it's still too soon, just based on this study, to say all bald men should now start taking an aspirin. They should definitely talk to their doctor about other reasons why they may want to take it. All right, so let's it. just make sure we simplify it at the end here. Yeah. For someone who suffers from male pattern baldness, and I know a guy like that, that. What should the takeaway be? The takeaway should be that you are most likely at somewhat of an increased risk for heart disease. You should talk to your doctor about your other risk factors and make sure those are under control. Dr. Roshini Raj, Doc, thanks so much.